Hello and welcome to Spruit Cam Tutorials brought to you by Tormach. I'm going to be doing a lathe tutorial today and the part that we're going to ma be making is a quick connect for airlines. Okay, so I have imported the model and I have got it in the position and I got my zero zero in the place that I want it. So I'm going to drag a box around it and I'm going to sew the faces. And click OK. Now we're going to go to the machining tab. We're going to make sure that we have a lathe XY selected. This is uh, the selection you need to use if you're using the duality lathe. And we are going to add a primitive cylinder around the X axis. Now what we're going to do is add a little bit of stock to the front part for facing. So we're going to double click the cylinder around the part. And we're going to add 30 thousandths positive axial material. Okay. Now we're going to create a roughing lathe facing operation. We're going to double click that and we're going to have to make some specialty tools for ourselves. So the first thing we'll do is name this one Tool 1. And the tooling that we're going to make is um, the tooling that comes with the duality lathe. So we will, it has a triangular insert. We want this insert to be at 90 degrees. Oh, we got to change our um, units to inch. So our length of the insert is 400 thousandths, our thickness is 100 thousandths, our radius of the point of the insert is about 10 thousandths. So now we have the insert is correct, but we got to do the holder a little bit. So the whole overall length of the holder will make 2 inches. The B selection here, which you'll see is going to be how how wide that base is. We're going to make that point 375. Um, the L3, which is pretty much the length of the area where the uh, insert is put on, is going to be about 400 thousandths. And now this F is like this offset, so about half of the thickness, oh, a little bit less than that, we have to come back a little bit, see how it goes, zoom in a little bit on this, Let's turn that tool around. All right, so tool one, that's what it's going to look like from that direction. That's going to be really close to what we want. We want to make sure that the uh, geometry is being pulled from the bottom that tip. And we have tool one up here. We're going to call it station one, number one, and click the plus and it's going to add this to our tool library. Now we'll go to feeds and speeds. The duality does not have constant surface speed so we're going to put it in RPMs and we're going to do this all at about a thousand RPMs. Uh, lead out, lead in values are okay for this. This is how far out it's going to start its path. 
and 39 thousandths is fine. Now we are going to um, have a rough pass and since we have 30 thousandths on there we're going to do rough passes of 10 thousandths and we're going to do two finished passes of five thousandths. Everything else looks fine. We'll click OK and run. We get the green check. We'll put the simulator up here. I'll make this work wise. Okay, there we go. We'll regenerate everything and hit play. Yeah, ten thousandths, ten thousandths, five and five. Okay, so now the part is faced. We're going to keep the same tool and we're going to do a roughing uh, pass now. So we're going to go back to our machining tab, click roughing and lathe roughing. We'll make sure that's highlighted. Pick that and hit reference. Now it's going to just give us the current part. That's fine, but we don't want to do any machining back around this part. We're just going to do up to around here. So we're going to click on the little icon you see here. I'll expand this out a little bit. You see this little icon? And we're going to do between two axial planes. We'll pull that out and you'll see these two green highlighted lines. We're going to click on this line while it's highlighted. We're going to pull it all the way over to there. So now we're going to be machining from here to there. All right, now we'll double click lathe roughing. We'll pick our tool, which is going to be the same tool we had before, tool one. Um, I'm not going to worry about speeds and feeds. I showed you that we're doing everything at a thousand, so I'm just going to kind of gloss over some of that stuff. And. Now we're going to cut in a forward direction. Entry amount is fine. Each step we're going to take is ten thousandths. We want to go to the plunge area. And we want to do all these areas. So it'll get in as close as it can. Everything else looks okay, so we'll click OK and click Run. All right, so you can see it's going to machine. It's going to turn all this, and it's going to rough pass just about all the tool. And since we're only taking ten thousandths, we'll probably have enough fin. Uh, it'll probably be just enough so that we won't have to really do any finish passes on this. So let um, hit the simulation button and we will click play. And I'm going to speed this up a bit so we don't wait around. You can see it taking all the way over to that side wall. Now it's going to cut away a little bit there. That looks pretty good. Oh, I suppose we should do a finish pass. So. Let us go back to machining. We'll click on lathe roughing again, and we're going to keep two thousandths for finished stock. Click OK. We'll regenerate that. Now we're going to do a finish pass with the same tool. We'll create a fit on the current part. We're going to go between axial planes again. So we got to drag that all the way over to here. Now we'll double click, pick our tool one. I'm not going to worry about speeds and feeds or lead in, lead out. We want to take one step at two thousandths depth. Everything else here looks fine. We'll click run. 
All right, now we'll click the simulator. And we will generate everything up to the roughing pass, and now we're going to run them both together and see how it looks. Well, it looks pretty good. So now all we have really left is this little section here to take care of. Oh, we're going a little far here. So you can see that line. That's been all taken away. Everything that's red is the finish. So we have this area right here that we need to get to, and we can't do that with the tool that we have. Because the geometry isn't right. So what we're going to do now is we're going to do a groove tool path and try to get this out with a groove tool. So go back to machining, and we're going to do lathe grooving. We're going <coughs> to pick the current part. And we're going to pick the groove that we want to put in there. And then we'll take that curved part out of there, remove selected. Now it's going to do this, this little chain area here. So we will double click on lathe grooving. We're going to have to make a lathe groove tool. So um, I'm going to keep pretty much this let's see we can do a we can do a square end a little single end round won't be too bad um, we can keep that single end chamfer that'll, that'll do pretty good but we're going to take this to zero degrees let's see how our um, thing is shaping up we got to change our units to inch we have a, a zero plane there. Our length will make it, oh, about quarter inch long, 100 thousandths thick. The radius will be 10 thou. And we'll make it about 100 thousandths wide. All right, so we have a pretty square, pretty square insert now. Now we'll just mess with the holder a bit, and you don't. If you're doing this yourself, you don't necessarily have to play with the holder. If you don't want to, you can just make the insert, and it'll um, simulate just fine. But we'll do a little bit of a holder here, two inches. Make it uh, two hundred thousandths. That extra length. Half an inch, and these actually don't apply. So there's no way this, uh, there is no hand of the tool or anything. We just want the um, cutting to be the bottom center. Make this custom tool too. We'll put it in the station two, number two. <coughs> Excuse me, and click plus. Feeds and speeds all should be pretty, pretty good. Um, well, we can tighten that up a little bit, hundred thousandths or ten thousandths. I mean, then we'll go to a strategy. And what we want is a distance for the rough step of let's say seventy-five thousandths. We want a distance for the back off of five thousandths. We don't want any stock. Uh, Bidirectional is fine. All right, let's click OK and see how it looks. We'll run that. And there you go. We got rid of that section that um, 
was in our way. And just a couple of passes. Whoa! We could probably tighten that up just a little bit. Um, let's re-simulate it in a little slower motion here. So we can see how it goes. There it comes down. And then it follows right down there. It's beautiful. Okay, so this was a bit of a lathe tutorial on how to make a quick connect fitting for airlines. You'd still have to drill the hole. You'd have to flip it around and do a little bit on the back side. But altogether, that should get you started. And I hope you enjoyed it.